Welcome to Electronline to give us a better understanding of what the inverse function is, at least from a graphical perspective and how it relates to the y equals x line. Let's take a look at some of these graphs that we've drawn. Notice that at the top we have y equals x squared plus 2, y equals x squared, and y equals x squared minus 2, but the condition there is that x must be greater than or equal to 0, which means that we have a one-to-one -one function in each of the cases at the top. At the bottom, we have y equals x cubed, y equals x squared, and y equals x squared minus 2. Notice that these two are not one-to-one -one functions, but this one is. y equals x cubed, since it's an odd function, x to the third power, it does give us a one-to-one -one function. We can try the horizontal test, and it only crosses the line once. Now notice that if we draw the inverse of the function, these are the green lines, there's the inverse of the function, the inverse, the inverse, 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 and inverse. Notice that in these two cases right here, the inverse of the function is not a function, it's a relation because we did not have a one-to-one -one correspondence or one-to-one -one function uh, of, of those two examples. But we're interested in where the the function and the inverse of the function cross the y equals x line. Now here you can see that it does not cross the y equals x line, not even once. Here it crosses twice and here it crosses once. It turns out that for an even function, a function where you have x squared somewhere in the function, the number of times that it can cross the y equals x line can be 0, 1, or 2. Now you can see that in these particular cases, they cross the, li the, line, the line twice because we have a quadratic equation. Now it turns out that if I take this function and move it far enough upward so that the inverse will be far enough this way, then again, just like we have in this example, there would be no places where the function or the inverse would cross the y equals x line. Now what is interesting is that where did it cross the y equals x line? Well, it turns out they crossed the y equals x line at the very same point, and that's a very unique concept right here. Take a look at there. You see that right here, they cross this point, both of the inverse of the function and the function itself. Here again, the inverse of the function, the function itself. Wherever the line is crossed, both the function and the inverse of the function cross that y equals x line at the very same place. Now notice over here, we have the function y equals x cubed, it's a odd function, and notice that the inverse of the function crosses the y equals x line at the very same locations as the function itself crosses. Now in this case, there's three crossings because of y equals x cubed. Now, it doesn't always mean that there's going to be three crossings, but it can be as many as three crossings when we have y equals x cubed versus only two crossings when we have y equals x squared, at least the max number of crossings. But at any rate, notice that both the function and its inverse will cross the y equals x line at the very same location each and every single time. And that is what we know about the inverse of function relative to the function, the way it relates to that y equals x line. And that is how it's done. So, does that mean anything? Does it mean anything? Well, it means that they cross the line at the same place. Okay. It, it makes it easier to graph, right? It makes it easier to graph. And it does give you a little bit more insight into that mirror image concept because the reason why they do that is because there's a mirror image. Whenever one crosses, the other one has to cross, otherwise you don't have the mirror image and that's in essence the significance of that. Yeah, but is there anything that you would use it for say in physics, chemistry, or biology, as in bacterial growth or mm. chemical mixtures, decaying, well, velocity and acceleration intersecting something? <laughs> there are actually probably because I can't be 100% sure, but if I think what you just mentioned, there are places where the concept of the function and its inverse do have a special meaning, and where they cross the y equals x line do have a special meaning, but those are rare cases. Yes, I, I agree, it's not the, the mainstream of the concepts that you absolutely have to know. Only if it's on the next exam <laughs> would you be more interested in knowing this thing. <laughs>